Welcome into Chicago Bears now. Guys, the Justin Fields jerseys are selling like crazy, as expected. So if you want to get one, do it now. Chatsports.com slash Fields1. We've got multiple different colors available, including the navy one. So go ahead and get in on the action at Chatsports.com slash Fields1. The Chicago Bears have made their fifth round selection at number 151 overall. Larry Borum, the offensive lineman out of Missouri, as Ryan Pace continues to get it done on draft day. Guys, Todd McShay in ESPN's three-round mock draft just a week or two ago had Borum to the Bears in round three. Now, he acknowledged that that was a bit of a reach, but our own Tom Downey uh, had a sixth-round grade on him, so he's not as high on him. The point is, though, this is a player with some upside. 6'4", 322. It's possible kicking him inside to guard is a play at some point. I think what you have initially here, though, is a swing tackle. I think that's what you're expecting or what you're hoping for out of Larry Borum. In the fifth round, if you get a swing tackle, a guy who can come in and play if someone goes down, that's good value. That's what you're looking for out of offensive linemen in day three of the NFL draft. He's got good size. His arms are longer than 33 inches. That's kind of the cutoff there uh, for offensive tackle. So I think I would prefer to keep him at tackle if you can, which, of course, as we've talked about, has been a major need for the draft. You got Tevin Jenkins earlier. Now you get Larry Borum in round five. <laughs> I got to say, Ryan Pace has done a great job in this NFL draft. So grade the pick for me, A, B, C, D, or F. I'll go B+. Plus. It's a really solid pick. It's not a, you know, huge home run like, oh, this could be a Pro Bowl type of tackle pick. But I think, you know, at worst, he's a backup offensive lineman for five or ten years, in my opinion. And that's pretty good when you're on day three of the NFL draft. So grade the pick for me, A, B, C, D, or F. Subscribe to Chicago Bears now. Guys, this is the time to get in on the action. The excitement is palpable around this team after what this team has done in the draft, starting with, of course, Justin Fields. We'll have more Bears news around the draft, rumors, and, hey, we're going to have final Bears draft grades on this channel. You see the link below, youtube.com slash Bears now. Share that with all your Bears fans. And for everyone watching, of course you're watching, hit that red subscribe button for more Chicago Bears videos. So more on Larry Borum, only gave up a sack last year, uh, only gave up a couple of hurries as well. This is a solid college offensive lineman. Now, there's been some slow feet type of issues, which is why uh, maybe he's more of a guard in the NFL, and that certainly could end up being true uh, long term. But I think right now, maybe he's your sixth or seventh offensive lineman. Maybe he's your swing tackle. I don't know if it's like, oh, you drafted Larry Borum, so let's cut Charles Leno. Like, I, you know, you got to get into camp at least and see uh, what your options are. Now, that doesn't mean they won't cut Charles Leno, but I don't think they would cut him because of this pick necessarily because I think right now Tevin Jenkins is your starting right tackle. As of now, Charles Leno would still be your starting left tackle. And sure, he's not very good, but he's not as much of a disaster as we like to think he is. He played better in 2020 than he did in 2019. I'll be fascinated to see – how the depth of this offensive line builds. Because I like Alex Bars, who played pretty well last year. He's a good depth offensive lineman. I don't love Jermaine Ifedi, but with the Jenkins pick, now he's more of a backup swing tackle type as well. As a backup, Ifedi's very, very good. So I like that also. Average athlete for the, uh, an offensive lineman here. Did uh, have 20 uh, bench press reps. Eh, decent for you know a guy who's 6'4", 325 pounds. So as far as you know his athleticism and his strength goes, I'd say pretty middle of the pack when it goes for offensive linemen, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. I think it's more technique based and obviously what the tape shows. And the tape shows, you know, average to above average offensive line prospect. We'll see how he pans out with the Chicago Bears. Do you like the pick? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I like it, don't love it, think it's a pretty good selection overall. I thought you could have seen him go early on day three. He goes in the middle of the fifth round, which, hey, I think it's good value for Larry Borum. That's why I gave it a B-plus grade. Let me know why for yes or in for no. Quick reminder, Justin Fields' jerseys are flying off the shelves here at Chat Sports. Get one today, chatsports.com slash Fields1. By the way, I got a couple of DMs asking about the authenticity of these. These are Nike authentic NFL partner jerseys with our uh, sponsor partner Fanatics. Like, this is the real deal. This isn't, you know, some uh, black market jersey that you get for 75% off on the internet and it shows up six months later. This is the legit Nike Justin Fields jerseys, and he's wearing number one. 
chatsports.com slash fields1. I'm being told we've already sold like 30 of these, so you better hurry up and get in on the action. I think this Justin Fields jersey might be the most sold jersey among rookies this year. Don't be the guy without one. chatsports.com slash fields1. So Larry Borum, that was the breakdown there on him. We'll kind of, you know, look look back at what's happened and then look ahead a little bit as well. So obviously the pick of the draft and the move of the draft, in my opinion, not just for the Bears, but for all NFL teams, Justin Fields. We can't talk enough about how great of a pick that was to go up and get your guy. We've talked about it. We'll continue to talk about it. To be that convicted and say, hey, we're starving for a quarterback but we're not going to panic and trade up to four with Atlanta. You let the draft come to you, and then you're like, boom, this is the time. Go get them, and they did. Love it from Ryan Pace. Absolutely love it. Almost as much so, I love Tevin Jenkins. I mean, how many times did we see mock drafts with Tevin Jenkins at 20, including a couple of my own? And we were all in agreement. We were like, hey, <laughs> that's a great pick at 20. You get him at 39? I mean, guys, like the value in this draft that Ryan Pace has found has been better than any team in the NFL this year. I know I'm the Bear, you know, I host Bears videos, so, you know, maybe people out there are saying I'm biased. I pride myself on objectivity. I've ripped Ryan Pace in the past because he deserves to be ripped. But you know what? Job well done in this NFL draft. I don't really care what the remaining picks are. Three for three, in my opinion. And I want to know from you guys, is he off the hot seat? Type your votes here. One for yes, two for no. I mean, for now, he is, right? I mean, I've said it. I said it after the Fields pick. I'll say it again. If Fields is a bust in the NFL, I won't blame Pace for it. Sometimes things just don't work out. This is not trading up for Trubisky. This is a calculated move. No one out there in NFL analysts and media circles and scout circles thought it was a questionable pick. It was a home run pick on paper. I think he's going to be a great quarterback for Chicago. I think I got to type my one for yes right now. For now, Pace is off the hot seat. Nagy's got his guy. The excitement around this team is as high as I can remember it. Definitely since I've been hosting this show, which is well over a year. So let me know, one for yes, two for no. Is Ryan Pace off the hot seat? And you look at kind of the off-season profile, the draft profile as a whole, you, you've checked boxes, right? Quarterback, offensive tackle, you've added two of those guys. I still think a receiver in round six I, is a direction I would go in. Quarterback, you know, I'd like to add there too. Maybe you just roll, you hope Desmond Trufant is your number two corner. I have slight concerns there and actually a little higher than slight. So, hey, Richard Sherman, you want to come on board now? How about that? Let's get Sherman to Chicago. That would be absolutely fantastic. Hey, it's been fun. Subscribe. I know we're ending off the rails here. I'm just very, very excited. More draft videos here on Chicago Bears Now.